Sunday night and I just got back from shopping at the Dollar Tree. I wanna show you guys what I got there. I decided that I wanted to do something different for this back area. It'd be nice if we put some stuff up here. Sometimes we decorate this like you know, during different seasons and holidays and stuff, we'll kind of decorate it up there. But I'm thinking it would be nice if we started out our new year with a fresh start. I think we're gonna keep the board the way it is for right now. Usually we store some of our stuff behind that curtain when it comes to scissors and paper and different things. And then I have cubby systems down there with all like different scissors, like the shape scissors and then different paper like line paper nicely put away and we don't see any of that but then we have these two containers and i've shared this in the past with you guys where i organized the back bar here and i ended up just throwing things in there and then when it came to um last this last school year i kind of cleaned up everything and got that all nice and clean so i needed to um or i had an idea of changing it up a little bit back here and making it nice and we'll see how long that lasts with keeping some stuff there i usually like it where there's nothing up there and we always have like toys and different things up there we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna set this up a little bit different some more stuff for evelyn's cubby and then also i needed to pick up a cubby system thing for my granddaughter because her birthday is coming up and she wanted to have her own like school cubby so her sisters are doing homeschooling this year so my daughter has three girls and two of them are homeschooling and the youngest one is only four months younger than evelyn so she asked her mom um why she doesn't have a cubby for school this year so i'm gonna put her cubby together for this next school year and she's just gonna do similar stuff like Ev like Evelyn's gonna do. And I also picked up doubles of stuff so that Evelyn can have it in her cubby too. So um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna go over. So a lot of it's gonna be organizing this back bar here and then, which that is gonna be in another video but I'm gonna share with you guys just what I got at the Dollar Tree and then also what I'm gonna be putting in my granddaughter's cubby. So I'll put that together at the end of this video. So I laid everything out so that it would be easier for me to go over and share with you guys. So I bought two of these and I got everything in similar colors to what we have up here. So just we kind of have the farm theme and stuff up there so I thought that would be kind of cute and I think that it'll match with the containers okay and then I got some stuff from uh Myers too I have some stuff right there and then I got some stuff from Myers right there all right so I'm gonna be using these two containers for paper. One of them is gonna be just regular printing paper and then one of them is going to be um, like lined paper for school. I just noticed that this one right here is broken. So I might have to bring that one back and get a new one, but I'm just gonna give you the idea of what I'm gonna be using it for. All right, so I got just two of them because I'm just mainly gonna put the paper in there. We store our paper either um, on top of the printer or in my bedroom, and I don't wanna do that anymore. So we're gonna put it in the container and then everything's gonna be in one area. So I got this construction paper. It's just a small pack, so 30 sheets. And then I got this pad of paper, has the alphabet in it, and then the wider lines. Got a bunch of these books here. So for my granddaughter's cubby, I got her numbers, letters, animals, and shapes and colors. So if you look inside here, it just has different activities um, for them to work on. So I got that. Two of these maze books, one of them is going to be for my granddaughter and then one's gonna be for my daughter. So I got two of them. I got some markers. I have these super tips, washable markers. So there's only five in there and I have two of them. And then Eli asked for um, some index cards and he's gonna be using this for bookmarks. 
Okay. And then I got a package of tacks. We always go through tacks and got a bunch of these. How many are in here? 200 are in there. And then I got more erasers for their pencils. We always run out of pens. So I got a whole pack of pens. And then I have, oh, so I have two things of washable markers. Not little. Yep, hold on. Edge of chalk. And then this is what I'm gonna be using for uh, my is granddaughter's for, hubby. Is this for everyone? You'll see. Yeah, you'll see. Okay, and then I got a bunch of these containers and we're gonna be filling these up. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And then I got a pair of scissors. I got this pack of pearl crayons, a package of, or a bigger package of crayons. Um, I have another package of crayons, just a smaller one. Package of colored pencils. I have more glue sticks. We always go through glue sticks. But this one I think I'm putting in my granddaughter's um, cubby. All right, and then I got some of these. If you guys saw Evelyn's cubby system, you saw that I got some of them in hers. And then I also got some of these in hers. Then I have two packs of sharpeners. So one of them will be my granddaughter's. And then I got a package of these pencils. I thought they were pretty cute. And then we always run out of paintbrushes. So I got a pack of paintbrushes. I got more of these little animal erasers. I got some grippy pencil um, things for the kids' pencils. Uh, they didn't have any other ones with different colors, so we just got these. And then I have two of these books right here. It's my dress up. They also had boy ones there, but I got two girl ones because one's gonna be in Evelyn's and one will be in my granddaughter's. I got two of these alphabet books. Well, this one is my day books, and then it just has a bunch of words and stuff in there. And then this one is an alphabet book. So I thought that was cute. They have a lot of uh, school stuff at the Dollar Tree and we've used this last year with the twins and for kindergarten and stuff like that. We always use Dollar Tree stuff. All right, and then I have these scented erasers. I thought these were pretty cute. I have more paint brushes, but these are bigger. And then I thought these, was, these were cute also. They had a bunch of stickers there. They have a lot of new, like, um, scrapbooking stuff there. So I got two packs of them stickers. And then I got this alphabet one because that also is going to be in my granddaughter's um, cubby. So we got that. And I think I covered all of that. And then I found these at Myers in the party pack area and they were only $2 a piece and it makes two bracelets. So this can go in their cubby and this will give them something to do one day. All right, so organizing in the homeschool area, I have some stuff in there that's kind of just thrown in there on pans and I'm gonna be putting it in these containers. And then also we have a lot of crayons and markers that are gonna be extra in the cubby area besides putting them in these little things right there. So I got two of these from Myers. I think they were $4.49 a piece. And that is everything that I got on this haul. So when adding it up, it, with it being $1.25 now, you're paying just a little bit extra at the dollar store, but that's okay. So I needed to pick up more of this stuff just because I was gonna be filling up this little cubby here for my granddaughter granddaughter's birthday and having that ready for her. But while I was there, I saw all this extra cute stuff that I could still add to Evelyn's cubby. Okay, so Evelyn's going to help me put everything in granddaughter's cubby. So put that in there. Okay. All right. Well, this is going to be her birthday gift, okay? I know. So we're going to put her birthday gift together. All right. Uh, it smells good. It smells good. Yeah. Oh, we're going to put this one back there. I'm going to put that one back with this one. Put this one? Here? No, right here. Put that there. Put that there. Oop, I think it's going to tip over on us. All right, so put that in there. And this one. Yeah. Erasers. Come on, erasers. Yeah? Okay. 
Well, Why we'll see, you, okay? Why did you not buy them? I cubby? did get you some for your cubby. You did? Mm-hmm. You did? Yeah. But you did, you did put this one in? Yeah. Okay, put that in there. Okay. Here's I that. Love these. I love to do this. You like putting that together? Let me do that. Let me okay. do this. Because okay. that can't stand. All right, put that in there. And that's empty. And put that in there. Okay, put that in there. You forgot it. Well, it, yep, no, I didn't. It's going to be okay. Here, put that in there. Uh, put that in there. That's, uh, what else? I just did this. I just okay. did this. Yep, put that in there. And I'm cleaning this out of this. Yep. I won't take it. Okay. Ready for next year? No, if I find anything else or my uh, daughter wants me to add anything to this, I'll pick it up and we will add some more stuff to it. I'll probably send her out this video so that she can see what I got and then let me know if there's anything else that she wants did me you to get. Me pencils? I did. Okay. okay. Well, I forgot to end my video on what I all got at the Dollar Tree. I ended it with Evelyn helping me out with putting stuff away in the cubby. So I took all that stuff and I put the gift that I was gonna be giving to my granddaughter, I put that away in my bedroom. So I have that ready for this month. And then also I already have everything set up the way that I wanted it to for this next year. So if you guys, um, this video I'm gonna be sharing on an off day of what I've been sharing for my homeschool stuff. So I'm just gonna share this with you guys on what I got at the Dollar Tree for some leftover stuff that I needed for school. And then also my granddaughter's birthday's coming up and she was stating that she wanted her own cubby and stuff for school. So I put all of that stuff together and that's gonna be her gift. And I'm gonna add some more stuff in there like treats and different things. Um, but also the other stuff that I had with that haul, I put it off to the side and we set up the school area a little different than we usually do. And I wanna share it with you guys because I wanna share the haul with you guys first and other homeschool stuff is just going to stay on Monday but this was just an extra Dollar Tree haul because I needed to get stuff for my granddaughter and then also reorganizing everything over in the school area for um this next school year which is going to be happening pretty soon just right around the corner so I wanted to come on and end this video if you guys want more hauls like this where it's other than me just picking up my groceries let me know in the comments down below and I can maybe do some more of stuff like that so all right so hopefully you guys like today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one